Hello, I'm Noah Weeder, and I'm going to do a video tutorial today about how to sign up for a business account without using a credit card. The first thing you'll need to do is go up to the top and click sign up. And you'll start by signing up for a business account. Enter your first name and last name and your email address, as well as your daytime phone number. That's the phone number at your office where we can contact you during the day. You choose a password. It has to have eight characters at least and is case sensitive and it should have a number or a special character in it as well. Then click next and go to step two which is the account sign up step. Enter your company name. Enter the address of your company. Enter the city, state, and zip. For the state you'll click that select button right next to the where you're entering the city right now and then you'll select the state. And then in the box next to it, you'll enter the zip code. The daytime phone number it should already be there. That is your contact phone number from the previous screen. And then you'll enter your fax number. Select a classification for corporation or LLC or sole proprietorship. And then you'll tell us the type of business. In this case, we entered financial services. Now you'll tell us the type of business activity you do. If you're a financial institution or collections department, put that in there. Now let's enter the information usage. Describe how you, the information will be used. Enter skip tracing or public record research or whatever you're going to do with it. Then enter the web address, the number of employees, and the years in business. Then click next. On step three, the payment plan, you will decide whether or not you're going to prepay for the services or select a prepayment option. Here you'll want to select a prepayment plan with the amount you wish to deposit into your account to avoid having to set up a credit card on the account. After the sign up and account verification, your primary admin can then add users. Each user will have their own login, but everyone will be able to con conduct searches using the same prepaid balance without having a credit card on the account. Individual audit and usage reporting is available in the account and the account manager can run and print reports based on the search type or user level. The prepaid account also allows you to take advantage of the posted discounts. So right here we're going to select a $500 prepaid plan so we can get a 60% discount and then we'll click next. We're not going to click credit card, we're going to click bank account which opens up another window that shows checks and money order and then we'll click next here. This allows you to avoid a credit card. And now in the final step, step five, we're going to review all of the information. If you see a mistake, click the back button. If you're completed, click the finish button. Once you're finished, the signup is complete. If everything looks good from here, simply send a check or money order for the amount you prepaid to SearchBug at the address shown below. Once your check is received, we will credit your account and you will see an online balance in your account. To see your price list, simply click the price list tab and then select the proper prepaid amount from the drop down box and then you will see your prices under business account here. So right here is the prepaid account box above the business account. Select your prepaid account amount and then the prices will change to your pricing. To log in, you go to the top and you select log in, enter your email address and password and click log in. Once you're in, you will see an overview of your account details and it will show you your balance is low if we did not receive your check yet. If your balance is there, you will see it in the top right. Clicking users tab will allow you to enter a new user to access the account from your company. Simply add their first and last name and email address and click add and it tells you that they've been successfully added. Should this user leave and you want to keep their information in the system you just click suspend do not delete the account. To get back to your account overview click the my account tab. You can go to profile or company or payment plan. You can change your billing options. You can see your different services. You can run reports from this tab. Your usage summary, billing details, 
and last 30 days, last seven days, and all time reports are all available just by clicking the run report button. Now there's no reports in this user, it's a, it's a set up temporary user. But you can see this account for this user has been suspended and now his status has changed. If you want to activate it, you click the active button. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call us. Have a great day.